In this online pattern cutting tutorial, I will be showing you how to create a pattern for a bishop's sleeve. We will be working with the women's wear half scale block pattern, which you should already have on PDF. Here is a calico toile of the pattern made up. If you would like a longer cuff, you can do that, as this style has got many variations as shown by this Bieber cuff. To start off, what we need to do is we need to trace our sleeve block onto pattern paper, or in this case, I'm using A3 layout paper. Once we have traced off the sleeve and added in the central grain line and also the elbow and bicep lines, you will notice that I haven't traced off the wrist dart. This is because this is the area I want to add volume and I don't want the fit from the wrist. So nextly, I'm going to look on my grader ruler and find my 90 degree angle. I'm going to place that onto the bicep line and I'm going to square down. I'm going to do that to both sides. And then I'm going to join up those two lines along the wrist. So we've got a completely square shape at the bottom of the sleeve. So now I'm going to go to my bicep line and I'm going to measure along that and I'm going to divide the bottom of the sleeve into four sections. I'm going to square down from that, from that bicep line down to the wrist line. Now before I continue, I need to mark up the sections with numbers one to four. The reason for this is because when I cut it out later, it's very easy to get into trouble and to do things upside down and stuff. So you kind of eliminate the problem by numbering them before you cut. Once I've cut the bottom part of the sleeve into the four sections, I'm going to need an extra piece of pattern or layout paper and I'm going to place the cut up sleeve block on top of the paper. Tape the cap sleeve down onto the paper using your magic tape. Extend your grain line down from the cap and start to assemble the lower sections of the sleeve onto the paper. Okay, so the top outer corners of section one and four need to touch the edge of the cap sleeve. You will need to fan out the bottom section so there's volume at the wrist. Working from the elbow line, add four centimetres between each section. You can see in the central one, I've added two centimetres on either side of the grain line. Once you're happy with that, you can start to tape it down. You can see that you've created a semicircular shape just coming down from the bicep line. That's correct. You just need to worry about sections one and four touching to the cap. And then what we need to do is we need to redraw the curved sleeve hem. You can use your pattern master or you can use a flexi curve if you have one to do this. This technique for adding volumely evenly to just one area, as remember we didn't actually change the top of the sleeve, is called slash and spread. This is a technique you will come across time and time again in pattern cutting. As a nice final flourish we're going to add some length to the back section of the wrist and shorten the front. This just makes the bishop sleeve sit nicer when worn. It's optional. To do this, you need to find the centre of the front sleeve and mark. This is going to be minus one. Then you need to do the same in the back, and this is going to be plus one. So I mark zero at the centre of the sleeve for the grain line um, and at both underarm sleeves, as these sections don't change. Um, then I need to draw in a new curve. So I'm going to be going up at the front, and then I'm going to be going back to zero at the centre, and then I'm going to be drawing my curve coming down to one centimetre in the centre of the back sleeve. So this is my new curve shape.
So all we've got left to do now is to add seam allowance. As we're working half scale, it's only a half centimetre. If it was full scale, it would be one centimetre. So you need to draw around. Um, if you place your um, half a centimetre um, mark on top of your cutting line, or your sewing line, sorry, um, and then just mark all the way around. You can also use a pattern master on these curved sections. You'll find it quite easy to use. I use the grading reader just because it's very light and I'm quite used to it. Don't forget to mark on your front and your back notches so that you're able to position the sleeve properly when you attach it to um, the bodice. And we've got a notch there at the elbow as well. And then we just need to cut it out.